Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dory and this channel is all about hiking gear, hiking tips and tricks and everything you need to know about hiking. Today I'm going to show you how I pack my bag for a seven day hike. Okay, so everything that you see here will go in my bag and how am I actually going to fit it in there? Because I have a 50 liter Osprey Cirrus bag and as you can see it's not too big but there's a certain system that you can follow to make it easier to fit everything in your bag all right so the first thing that i pack is my sleeping bag because that provides a cushion to my back and also it's a lighter item that i can easily fit on the bottom of my backpack beside that i usually pack my sleeping pad so this is my thermal rest I usually push it in front of the other and then in the gaps that I have left I put my clothes so anywhere there's space just push it in there one thing that will not go into this bag today is my jumper but I'm bringing this jumper then the next item I, I now put in my backpack is my tent I have the x Smith one person tent and I can easily fit it in my backpack like this if you have a bigger tent, um, I would uh, pack it on the outside of your backpack. Otherwise, it will take way too much space. I usually put it in like this. Because then, next to it, I can actually put my food. This is my food bag. And if you haven't already, check out my video on how to pack your food for a seven-day hike. This is the result of that video. And I put that in, my, in the middle of my backpack. And of course, we've got my stove with um, gas canister inside. I put it in a plastic bag because otherwise it will it might damage my other equipment. And um, I have an extra bag which includes my lighter, fork, and um, my aquatabs, and also my knife and my stove. I usually squish that into the middle because it's important to actually have the lighter items away from your back. So that the heavier items actually keep the backpack straight and leaning onto your back instead of pulling it away all right i still have my um down jacket and the reason i didn't squish it in the bottom is because this is also quite bulky but i can push it on the outside of all my other equipment so then i can fill the gaps there as well same with my rain jacket All right, my camp shoes. I've got these aqua shoes, really light, and I usually put them in the front. Together with my seed pack. All right, so then what's left is my toiletries and also my first aid kit. So this bag does not include everything that I'm taking for first aid because I'm still accumulating a few items, but for now this will do. And I usually pack that in the brain of the backpack and actually on the outside. Because if I need something, I can easily access it. Right, so that was toiletries. My Bushman always handy and I expect to see a lot of mosquitoes on this track so I'm actually packing that in one of the side pockets together with the snacks for the day we'll do that later my electronics this time I will bring my charger okay my electronics go on the inside of the brain just to protect them This is my battery pack. It's an Anchor 20,000 milliamp. Oops, almost forgot the cable. Okay, so what we have left is a few items here and there. Uh, my emergency blanket can go on the inside of the brain because I don't really need it. Same with my knee brace. 
I don't need access to it all the time. My gorilla pods. So this is what I use when I make shots on trail and when I kind of walk in front of the camera. So this is what I use. I hang it on a branch and then I put my camera in here. And so I need access to it easily. So I put it in the brain as well. My flashlight. Because I don't want to be looking for my torch when I arrive at camp, especially when I'm like doing a late one again. So I also put that in the brain. And then the gaps in the backpack inside, I fill those with these pasta meals and my lunches. Then my uh, Garmin Mini, I attach to the outside. So let's close this one first. I attach it on the outside of my um, backpack with um, one of these. All right. So then I can have easy, easy signal because when you put it in your backpack, you often lose signal because it's not exposed to the open air. Right, Bushman, as I said, I will need it. So I'm putting the Bushman in the sachets that I have on my hip belt. If you don't have these little pockets on your hip belt, you can always put the Bushman or your extra snacks into your, the brain of the backpack. So then they're easily accessible. As I said, snacks go in here as well. And then what I also put in the out in the hip pockets is sunscreen because I need it all the time here in Australia, especially. All right. There's two items that I didn't pack in this backpack, and that is my drone and my towel. I'm not bringing a towel. This is the first time I'm not going to bring a towel, but I'm just going to test it out and see how we go. And also my drone, because I'm going to be mainly in the forest this time, and I'm not going to have clear skies and, you know, how. however, it would be really nice to have some drone shots. But if I do want them, I'll go back and do it again. <laughs> All right, so this is how I pack my bag, and I'm actually ready to leave right now. Um, if you saw that I forgot something, please tell me in the comments below. And I probably think about it later on as well. But for now, this is what I put in my backpack. This is how I pack my bag. It's important that your backpack is kind of, that has the heaviest items near your back and the lighter items away from your back to give your back a little bit more support, all right? Also put the items that you need regularly in the uh, side pockets and not inside your bag because then you will get easier access to them. And the same goes with food. If you have a certain lunch every day, just put it on the top of your bag instead of putting it in a separate bag in the middle. These things probably make a lot of sense to you guys, but it's just an easy system to remember when you're packing your bag. If you haven't already, check out my video about my hiking gear and what I usually bring on a hike. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow. Okay, so I hope you like this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.